when doing an example like this, basically, ladies and gentlemen, again, just like we did in the exact example, it's just like the last one, we need to find the LCD. Okay? Now, when we looked and found the LCD, 30 ended up being what the product of 5 and 6 were, was, correct? Yes? So if you take your two denominators and multiply them, you will obtain a common denominator, correct? However, that's not always the case. For instance, the common denominator of 9 and uh, 2 is 18, right? You multiply them. However, the common denominator of 9 and 3 is not 27. The common denominator of 9 and 3 is actually 9 because 3 also divides into 9. Does that make sense? So you have to be careful. However, with polynomials, if you guys look at in this case, the, neither one of these divides into the other. So therefore, the common denominator is just simply going to be the product. So when we say the LCD, that's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 2. Now, just like I did with the numbers, I'm going to get common denominators. So to get x plus 1 to be x plus 1 times x plus 2, I have to multiply by? What do I need to multiply by to get it to there? Oh, all that. Well, not all of it. What? X plus 2. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. x plus 2 over x plus 2. Over here, then I'd have to multiply it by Does everybody follow me? OK. So now you guys can see I can put parentheses around here. So now what I basically have is um, now you guys can see I can apply distributive property here, right? So I have 5x plus 10 all over x plus 2 times x plus 1. And then over here, I can distribute the negative 3. Make sure you guys determine, make sure you guys understand that's a negative 3, though. Um, 5 minus 4. <coughs> Please understand, guys, 5 plus or 5 minus 4 is the same thing as 5 plus negative 4, correct? Do you guys agree with me? So what I'm actually going to do, anytime I'm doing subtraction, I am going to change this to an addition problem and make it now subtraction, or make it an addition problem with a negative number. That just helps me when I apply distributive property. So it's negative 3 times x, which is a negative 3x, and negative 3 times 1, which is a negative 3. Therefore, now I have x plus 2 times x plus 1. So what I want you guys to understand and see here is now I'm adding two fractions with the, common, with the same denominator. And when you add two fractions with the same denominator, you keep the denominator, but you just add the terms in the new numerator. So I'm going to say 5x minus 3x and 10x minus 3. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. 10 minus 3 is going to be um, plus 7. And that's all over our common denominator, <coughs> x plus 2 times x plus 1. Wait, how did you just do that to multiply it? I just did 5x minus 3x gives us 2x. Oh, right. 10 minus. Because you can't, you can't, you can only add the x's and the numbers, right? 